Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today I think we're on episode 168 of this series now so we're getting closer and closer to that 200 mark. We'll definitely have to do something special um, for that I think but without further ado let's get straight into this. So today we have got one system from the user core in Discord so a massive thank you to them for sending this in. It was on the workshops so I've already got it downloaded ready to go in here somewhere. All right, so we just need to find it. Where are we? Should be at the bottom, I think. Uh, where, where is it? Uh, core system, let's see. Uh, let's just search it. Okay, yes, yeah, so a core system version one. Let's see what we have got here. Right. Okay, contains several planets. Made from Neptunian guy. Uh, note two rocky planets um, and snow traps are broken. Uh, please remove all the water to see land. Okay, right, cool. We'll leave that up. Right, on to the star itself. So we've got Polaris here. Looks like it's a fairly small system. Right, so here is Polaris. Obviously, we can see its stats are fairly, uh, fairly large size. I mean, if we look at it in suns, 37 sun radius. So, yeah, pretty crazy. Luminosity quite powerful as well. Um, and, yeah, a lot bigger than the sun itself. So, there is Polaris. Okay, so moving out. First of the uh, planets now. So, we have got uh, Vercus over here. And this straight up reminds me of Venus um, for obvious reasons. I mean, yeah, it's looking very, very hot indeed. Very high temperature. It's got an atmosphere. Uh, going with it as well and i'll see the closest planet to the star so there is that one so there's Vercus. uh yeah we're going orbit mode uh next up we have got this one here so epson erdani hey i remember this one this is the one uh, they submitted for our object competition i still have a copy of this one saved actually but yeah, it's a beauty it's looking good and yeah very nice blue and white shades mixed together there so a nice ice giant so there we go well, maybe when we click play, we'll have to actually click play, see if it warms it up or not, because it should, in theory, be in that zone to be warmed up. So, yeah, maybe it will. Uh, next up, we have got um, Gaseous 2. Okay, so this uh, are broken. Please remove all of the water. Right, so that's what we need to do for this one. So, let's have a look underneath here, then. So, remove all of the water. So, we can see it's got a very nice atmosphere. Uh, water, okay, so let's remove it. Right, okay, so... All right, maybe it's meant. Is it going to have a bit of water? Maybe it does say uh, some of yeah, remove some of the water. So something like this is uh, what it's supposed to look like. So looking good, I'm liking it. Uh, water color, yeah, liquid water. So looking good. Not the atmosphere underneath um, blocking all that off anyway. But yes, a very very nice shade of blue we got going there. Looking very awesome indeed. Right, that's looking good. Hey, right. Next up, we have got. Uh, this one here snow trappist okay so this one we need to remove the water as well i think this was one they submitted for a competition as well so again same process as before we'll quickly remove the water as requested so along the lines of that i'd say or see we put the atmosphere back on it as well and yeah that is the result there so we'll see it's going to be one of the colder ones minus 39 degrees actually see so yeah, a very very cold it's got a venus sort of colored atmosphere with the star tinting the color of it a bit if we look in the top it's more of a white atmosphere but because our star is slightly red tinted it's making the atmosphere look a little more yellowy so there is snow trappist it also had some city lights on it as well okay next up we have got jupiter copy over here okay so what's exactly going on over here Okay, so maybe it is just a Jupiter with a copy. It looks like it's got its copy of Io. Okay, so it's got all of Jupiter's normal moons um, in a copy version. Okay, interesting stuff. Indeed, very interesting indeed. Okay, ah, interesting. Right, so there is a Jupiter replica in this system. Uh, next up, we got Ortac over here. So we've got a nice, simple, gassy, icy giant, obviously all one color. Nice and simple there. So there is that one. Okay, so Ortac. Uh, next up, we have got Sulfur Gas Dwarf. Hey, and one of the Sulfur Gas Dwarfs as well. It's all the way over here. We've got a bluer one. Obviously, we're getting further from the start. It's going to start getting dimmer out here. So there is the Sulfur Gas Dwarf. Okay, cool, cool. Right, so zooming out. Next up, we have got uh, Cheese Moon. Okay, so the moon is made of cheese here. So as we can see, it's normal moon tinted in a yellowy orange shade as well to give us this interesting stuff there indeed. Okay, so there's the cheese moon. Next up, we have got this one, Callisto Burns. Okay, that's looking quite cool already. What is going on over here? Right, so we can see it's a normal Callisto texture, but it's got some very, very red marks on it. So they're the burns, I'm guessing. And yeah, it's looking, uh, looking quite interesting up there, actually. Look at that. Hey. 
Huh, cool, cool. I like it when um, some of the solar system moons get customised. You can make some quite cool looking builds with them. Alright, and then lastly, we have got Callisto Freeze over here. So again, I'm guessing it's similar to Callisto Burn, but this one is a uh, cold version. So we can see it's got blues and greens sort of shade in there. Okay, cool. So that's the uh, last one in the system as far as we know. So let's go ahead and uh, just zoom out. I think that's everything. Okay, cool. But yeah, one thing I want to try is I want to see how hot that ice giant gets close to the star. I'm going to run it. I'm going to run the simulation. I want to see how hot Ops Island gets if we uh, have it going here. So there's the zone. So this thing should in theory be warming up. Yeah, it is. So this uh, would become a hot Neptune in this system. So if we just let it run, it looks like it's quite a... Uh, doesn't seem to run very fast. It's probably because we've got moons in it. It's 37 years. It's almost um, Uranus distance from the star, actually. So this is quite a, um, quite a large system in that regard. So if we look far out, this must be like... Yeah, that's a pretty big orbit then. So that's almost like Sedna sort of distance there. So 4,200 years. I mean, yeah, a lot of these are further than the Kuiper Belt. I mean, if this one is as far as roughly where Uranus is, the next object out is this one. Yeah, this is further than Neptune is. So, yeah, this is a, a pretty large-scale system compared to our own solar system. Our own solar system, you'd roughly be able to fit everything just in here, let alone all this further out, actually. So, yeah, this is a, a pretty large system. We can see the other planet, the closest planet. That's roughly the distance of Mars, I'd say, around that ish in between mars and jupiter sort of distance mars series jupiter sort of orbit distances it's obviously closer to mars than it is to jupiter in orbit so yeah i'd say mars series sort of orbit there and yeah everything else is obviously um, a lot further out there okay so there are all the planets in this system so yeah nice short but sweet system let's get a line up of them all here before we uh, finish up for today so here we go all the way down here so best gas giant 100 percent this one for me and then onto the rockies i think i liked Oh, slow traffic. Nah, it's got to be this one. Definitely, definitely this one. So, yeah, big thumbs up from me for those. And, yeah, a massive thank you to Core for sending their system in today. And, yeah, guys, if you'd like to send in your own systems for this series as well, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can upload your systems there. And, yeah, with that all said and done, guys, make sure to hit a like uh, down below. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video, guys. And, yeah, if you also enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. Help us on the journey to 21,000 subscribers now, guys. So, yeah, massive thank you indeed for watching once more. And, yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.